Thank you very much for coming tonight, for taking time out of, uh, of your lives um, for this, we consider very, very important topic of Memorial Park. Uh, my name is Shelley Arnold. I'm the executive director of the Memorial Park Conservancy. We are helping lead uh, the process along with Houston Parks and Recreation, along with the Uptown Tours, the process of master planning. This is a very important part of that process. For the next four to six months, we, we're not doing planning, we're doing, we're, we're gathering information, we're gathering input from, uh, from people who are interested in the park, from people who love the park, from people who live near the park and use the park. We're, we're doing research. Uh, we are, we're gathering information so that we can begin planning in a very grounded, pragmatic, rational way so that it's, we're not dropping a design on something uh, that's not the intention at all. Uh, the intention is to, to listen and be informed by the people who love the park, by the history of the park, by the ecology of the park, by the trends and the demographics, uh, by the biodiversity that once existed that perhaps could exist again. These are the, the things that we're doing. And tonight is one of, it's the first, it's the second, I should say, in a series of four public meetings. Um, we have public meetings, um, we have meetings with stakeholder groups that we're holding and workshops with stakeholder groups. We have a survey that we've launched where we'll ask everyone to please register your thoughts about Memorial Park information on how to do that and the, and the link to the survey is, is a little, little card on your table. Uh, but, but we're here tonight for two purposes. And one is to, to do some level setting and to have some discussion about the changing face of parks and the changing face of Memorial Park. And the second and equally important reason is to, to hear what you have to say and to take your input. Well, we've had one of these sessions, as I mentioned, we had really good um, work, work sessions, work tables, where we gather input from folks and we're assimilating that, and that will inform a master, a future master plan for Memorial Park. Um, I'd like to thank a few folks in the room tonight. I'd like to thank um, St. Teresa's, I don't actually think they're in the room tonight, but for hosting us. And I'd like to thank um, Houston Parks and Recreation for being here as, as well tonight. I see Jay, I saw TJ, uh, I think Rick DeWeese might be here as well. I'd like to thank our partners at the uh, Uptown Tours, uh, John and Sarah, who are here tonight, as well as the master planning firm that's leading this effort, uh, Nelson Bergwold, some of you might have read about them in the press recently, uh, and our, our firm that's working on, on the input process, the very, very important input process which is Lord Cultural Resources, Joy and, and Priya. You'll hear more from them tonight. Uh, mostly, I'd like to thank you all for coming out and, and our board for your, your continued support as well. But why, why are we doing a master plan? You might wonder, why are we doing a master plan? Don't we have a master plan for the park already? Didn't we approve one in 2004? And the answer to that is, is yes, we did. We did approve one in 2004, just like anything we do in the future, City Council uh, uh, voted on it, it became a city ordinance, so why are we doing anything now? Why don't we just let it be? There's, things have changed, things have changed significantly since 2004. I think perhaps most obviously, we've had a drought, we've had major disruptions. We've had a drought, we've had hurricanes, we've had major disruptions to the ecology of the park. Um, we have a happy problem in some ways of severe, heavy use of the park the park sort of being loved to death. Um, and so what do you do? You know, the, the amenities are running down. Human use is, ta is also taxing the ecology, it's taxing the, the environment of the park. We also face a situation, and all cities in the United States face this situation, of declining parks budgets. So the first budgets to go, uh, I know Council Member Greenwood can speak to this, the first budgets to go in, in, city, in city, city budgets are parks and libraries. We've seen a decline in our ability to spend for the park, and, and we have a situation this year that's new. We have a positive situation where the, the city leaders of Houston have stepped up and done something very forward-thinking and very creative that no other city leaders have done, which is figure out a way to fund the park figure out a way to use uh, TERS money to fund parks in Houston. Multiple parks have been funded by uh, TERS money and they figured out a way to allow the Uptown TERS to help Memorial Park with its, uh, with its, uh, its really ample funding. 
And so with that, I'd like to welcome you. I'd like to encourage you to actively participate tonight and going forward in the future meetings, in the, in the uh, survey. And I'd like to also introduce uh, John Breeding, who is our, our wonderful partner with the Uptown Turbs.